Hello everyone. Welcome to the channel. My name is Deepak and I welcome you all to another important ESI current affairs session. In this series of lectures, we are covering ESI current affairs from the month of January till your RBA grade B examination. These lectures will be important for your upcoming RBA grade B as well as NABARD grade examination. And today we are covering the second week of March. So let's start this lecture. Before starting this lecture, I would like to request you all to kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel. And also to receive the free current affair PDFs, you can always subscribe to our telegram channel. Link is in description. Before starting this lecture, I have an announcement for you all that currently we are offering up to 40% off on all of our courses. Kindly check out the details of courses. Link is in description. Now, the first news is BIS, that is Bureau of Indian Standard, which is a Indian standard body for products. It provide basically it provides certification of that product that this product is. Uh, safe and it do not have any kind of health hazard or you can import and export this type of product so basically a, it is a certification body of product so this bis that is bureau of indian standard has launched its initiative that is learning science via standard series okay let us discuss about this uh, initiative so bureau of indian standard which is a national standards body of india has announced the launch of learning of learning science via standards which is a unique initiative for students to learn science via standards because now this body that is bis provide certification on various standards now this body has launched the initiative for students so that they could learn science via these standards with the help of these standards they could learn the science because so practical application of science would be uh, taught by the bis now under this initiative focus will be on a series of lesson plans so a series of lesson plans will be provided under which scientific concepts will be used along with principles and laws to help students understand the practical application in manufacturing functioning and testing of quality characteristics of different products so to understand the quality characteristics of different products in manufacturing functioning and testing so they want to use the scientific concept the principles and laws so that a student could understand the practical application of standards which they are using for quality checking of that particular product now <laughs> under this initiative the subjects for lesson plans are largely related to products so subjects will be related to products on which uh, the quality testing is being done by the BS, BIS currently and these products will be used are, are, we are using them in our day to day life okay. now this initiative is expected to benefit a wide range of students including those schools, colleges and technical institutions okay. so under this initiative BIS, target, BIS is targeting students of schools colleges and a technical institution like technology institution uh, engineering colleges etc etc so this is all uh, about this news now the second news is 9.55 lakh uh, out of 9.6 like 6 9 lakh uh, patient consent consented tb tb patient tb stands for tuberculosis here across the country has been adopted by nikshay mitra so basically the nikshay mitra has adopted 9.55 lakh of TB patients. Because now related to this news, there is an initiative launched by uh, uh, central government that is Pradhan Mantri TB Mukt Bharat Abhyan means tuberculosis free mission or initiative has been launched by government of India in 2022. Now under this mission, it is envisioned to bring together all the community stakeholders. So it want to bring all the community stakeholders like if they are doctors or say businessmen because all their all community stakeholder will be bring together under this initiative because now what they will do they will support those who are on TB treatment those who are TB patient they want to support them under this initiative and also under this initiative they want to accelerate the progress towards TB elimination okay now objective of this abhiyan objectives of the, this abhiyan are to provide additional patient support additional support will be provided under this uh, mission 
to improve treatment outcome of tb patients also it want to augment the community involvement community will be involved okay in meeting india's commitment to end tb by 2025 okay now india has target to eliminate the tb by 2025 world target is 2000 and 30 okay and india's commitment is to end the tb by 2025 okay <clears throat> and also under this initiative objective is to involve community to achieve the target by 2025 okay also the last objective is to leverage csr common corporate social responsibility activities under this initiative so that okay now csr stands for corporate social responsibility corporate social responsibility means that the companies private companies will provide some kind of funds for social uh, problems say health problem for education okay ji these kind of uh, social infrastructure say or social responsibility they they will provide fund under csr okay ji so they under this initiative uh, the government will leverage csr activities so that this could help in eliminating tb from india okay ji now nikshay mitra talking about nikshay mitra now niksh ne means to end and mitra uh shay mit means tb so nikshay means to end tb mitra mitra means donor theek hai ji now nikshay mitra or say nikshay donor for this program include cooperative societies corporates elected representatives individuals institution ngos political parties and partners who can support by adopting health facilities so basically these are the types of nikshay mitra they could provide support in this mission by providing by adopting health facilities theek hai ji for individual donor theek hai ji for individual donor uh, adopting health facilities block urban wards district states for accelerating response against tb so to accelerate response ag- against tb means to end tb uh, tuberculosis nikshay mitra uh, initiative was launched under which these type like cooperative societies individual elected rep- representative institution can adopt health facilities which would further support ado- uh, decreasing or ending the tuberculosis in our country okay understood now third news icar that stand for indian council of agriculture research icar and world bank have announced the first international conference on blended learning ecosystem for higher education agriculture in india theek hai ji now these two institution that is icar of india and world bank has announced the first international conference on blended learning ecosystem for higher education in india and this conference will be organized under nahip project that is national agriculture higher education project under this project this conference will be organized and the aim of this uh, conference would be coordinating coordinating guiding and managing research and educa- research and education in agriculture understood so this is all about this news let us understand what is nahep now nahep stands for national agriculture higher education project so this is project which is related to higher education in agriculture stream this project was launched to uh support the agriculture universities so that entrepreneurs or uh, jobs could be developed in agriculture sector who are the student of these agriculture universities theek hai ji now nahip project was proposed in to financial year 2017-18 and the total cost or outlay of this program was dollar 165 million and the time period of this program was 5 year theek hai ji now this uh, funding okay ji was on cost sharing basis between world bank and the central government of india and the cost sharing basis was 50 50 okay so 2017 18 this project was proposed who launched this project central government and world bank okay ji now uh, central government and world bank are the funding partner of this project okay ji and this was formulated by icar funding outlay of this program was dollar 165 million and it, and the time period would be 5 years now 
Objective of this project is to support participating agriculture universities and ICR in providing more relevant higher education, higher quality education in agriculture university students. So understood, to agriculture university students, they want to provide more relevant and higher education. This was the basic objective of this particular project that is NAHE. Now overall the project aims to develop resources and mechanism for supporting infrastructure, faculty and student advancement, advancement and providing means for better governance and management of agriculture universities. So these, these are the aim of this particular project. And also under this program they want to provide the job and entrepreneurship oriented program or entrepreneurship oriented thinking should be developed between the student of these agriculture universities. Now talking about this NAHE project, this project has three components. That is component number one is support to agriculture university. Agriculture, support to agriculture universities will be provided in terms of infrastructure, faculty, student advancement or governance and management. Second, investment in ICAR for leadership in agriculture in higher university. This will be second component of this project. And third component is project management and learning. Okay, understood? Now, next uh, news. So, under Pradhan Mantri Mudra Yojana, okay, under Pradhan Mantri Mudra Yojana, 38.58 crore loans has been extended since launch of this scheme. Okay? Since launch of this scheme, 38.58 crore of loan has been extended. And another data which has been shared is 26.35 crore of loan that is 68% of loan has been extended to women entrepreneurs and 19.84 crore loans that is 51% of loans has been extended to SC, ST and OBC category of borrowers under this scheme. Okay. Another data which has been shared in parliament is that is this program, this Yojana or scheme has uh, generated 1.12 crore net additional employment during 2015-2018 means in three years this program has created additional employment of 1.12 crore okay. now talking about this scheme this scheme has been launched in 2015 and aim of this scheme was to provide financial inclusiveness and support to marginalized and hitherto social socio-economic neglected class okay. so those who are marginalized and neglected class like SC, ST, women okay, under this scheme some kind of loan of financial help is provided under this scheme and this scheme was launched in 2015 do let me know in the comment section who, what is the nodal agency or nodal ministry of this particular scheme okay. now under this scheme collateral free institutional credit up to rupees 10 lakh is provided by member lending institution so under this scheme collateral free means no collateral is would be seek by the banks okay? and up to rupees means maximum rupees 10 lakh of loan would be provided under this scheme by the member lending institution which are scheduled commercial bank that is SCB, regional rural bank, non-banking financial company that is NBFCs and micro finance institution. These are the four categories of institution would be which would be providing loans under this, this particular scheme. Okay? Now, under the scheme, load would be given to income generating active activities in which sector manufacturing, trading and services, activities which are led to agriculture. Okay. So under this, in these activities, uh, in these three activities, income. Next. Now, mudra loans, which are of, these loans are offered in three categories, that is Shishu, Kishore and Tarun. Okay. Now under the Shishu category, loans up to rupees 50,000 are provided. Under the Kishore categories, loan above 50,000 and up to rupees 5 lakh are provided. And under the Tarun categories, loans under above rupees 5 lakh and up to rupees 10 lakh means maximum rupees 10 lakh between 5 lakh to 10 lakh loan is provided under the Tarun category. Kindly remember these three uh, categories which are uh, categories of loan which are provided under this scheme. Okay. Now. Uh, this is all about all the important news which were in news uh, in second week of March. So let us cover some important MCQs related to this news. So ICAR and 
which of the following institution had have come together to launch to announce first international conference on blended learning ecosystem for higher education in agriculture theek hai ji which of the following institution and icar has long announced this conference under the project nahib is it world bank imf undp unicef and unep theek hai ji uh do tell me answer of this question in comment section theek hai ji now the answer of this question is one that is world bank and icar has announced this conference second question recently uh which of the following institution has announced the launch of learning science via standards a unique initiative for students to learn science via standards okay is it fssai bis iisc bangalore ncert or cbsc okay so here the answer is bis that is uh bureau of indian standard third question which of the following is or are the objectives of pradhan mantri tb tuberculosis mukt tb free india theek hai ji now first uh, option is providing additional patient support to improve treatment outcomes of tb patients augment community involvement in meeting india's commitment to end tb by 2025 leverage csr that is corporate social responsibility activities theek hai ji is it one and three only and is it all of both theek hai ji do tell me your answer in comment section theek hai ji your all involvement is required theek hai ji to solve these kind of mcqs theek hai ji as more you will involve in this kind of lecture more you will learn and more you will retain these kind of news since these news will be helpful in your phase 1 as well as phase 2 of your examination theek hai ji now here the answer is 5 that is all of above theek hai ji all are the objective of this particular mission or initiative theek hai ji so that's all about this uh, session hope you have liked this lecture or this lecture has added value to your preparations kindly press the like button or share a comment with me theek hai ji in the comment section below also you can visit our website at www.mentorspace.in theek hai ji and see what courses we are offering currently and also you can share your query at info 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 at the rate mentorspace dot in we would love to uh, help you with that okay so see you tomorrow till then prepare hard